Well, uh, there's uh, different ways, you know, to, uh, to win a rally. So, uh, and there's many things you, you have to analyze. You have to analyze the, your opponent, you know, you have to analyze when he shows signs of uh, terrorness. Uh, you have to, uh, so then, uh, you know, when you can see, uh, when, you, when you can see it, then you can jump on the tee, start to volley a bit more, you know, being a bit more aggressive, show the opponent, you know, you're really here to win. And, uh, and uh, my favorite one is uh, especially a counter attack in the front because I'm uh, pretty quick with my legs. So uh, that's my favorite finish. <laughs> I don't know why something inside me. I just love to, to win or to get the very, very hard, hard things. I mean, in, I mean, in, in, in life or in, in squash or anything. I never enjoy winning like easy or just hitting the board just easily in the neck or just putting a three drop shot. I love to feel I'm, I've really suffered to get this point. So the, I mean, that's that's one of the points or that's one of the things I really feel proud after winning a very, very hard or, or suffering point. There's nothing better really than when you're actually playing out there and you have a great rally with an opponent to, to see a crowd gasping and, and enjoying that. And that's very often not what you're thinking about on the squash box. You're always thinking about winning. But when you get that reaction, you think that's kind of what I'm here. You know, really, that's what we're here for. We're here to win. But if you can please people with what you do as well, that's, that's a great thing. And if people are enjoying this sport, you know, which I've had so much pleasure out over the years, and if, and if we in any way can pass that on to them and, and make them get passionate and enjoy it themselves, that's, that's a wonderful thing. It's like we play 32 draws, you've got to win five matches to win the tournament. You can't play perfect every day. Um, there's going to be days when you don't, know, when you don't know, come out there and hit the ball perfect and you win easy and there's other days when you show up and uh, it's just not your day and it's not working well and, and those are days where you've got to really be, be mentally strong and calm and uh, not panic in situations and uh, find a way and there's always a solution uh, and it's just a matter about being strong and hanging in there and uh, working, working it out and uh, I've done that pretty well over, over the last few years, won a lot of matches when I haven't been on in, in my best form but uh, most days I need to rely on my fitness and my patience and just hit the ball up and down the wall and, and uh, if you can do that uh, and not make mistakes then uh, you're going to get back into the match and, and most likely turn around a, a bad situation and still come out a winner. You're not playing one game, you're playing two games, one inside your mind and one inside your body, I think it's three and the third is with, with, with the other player because you don't have to just to keep on focusing on yourself, sometimes you have to focus on the other player as well. So I just try to force myself to keep on working on these three things on court try to push myself and to push my mind and to push the other player as well to get tired. So that's all what I, what I, what I keep on trying to focus on, on court when I, when I feel that I'm down or something. That's it. The way I kind of do it is I have little key, key phrases, key words in my head that kind of go round and round during a match. As an example, just the focus is a simple word, but a very good word because it's, it's quite a positive word, it's not negative and, and it just allows you to just channel your thoughts and you, it's, it's quite a basic word as well it's not complicating things too much it just it's just a simple word that I can you know just use to just you know like you say regroup if, if things are going a little bit wrong you know I think the last thing you want to do is complicate things when you're out there The game's getting faster and faster and now uh, we have a dominance of all the Egyptian players as well, guys like Rami and Shabana who are playing really aggressive squash so the game seems to be a lot faster and uh, more explosive and obviously I'm doing a lot more different types of training now to cope, to try to keep up and, and cope with the type of play now and uh, um, compared to what I used to probably in the past so there's still an endurance side to the game but it seems to be faster and more explosive now and uh, 
like I said before, if you're not, if you get a slow start now, you're really in trouble. You really need to be ready to play uh, from the first point, uh, so explosive and, and powerful, and to really be aggressive on there. It seems to be a lot more guys are playing a lot more shots, um, which is good for our game. It needs to it needs to be like that. Probably in the past, the longer, slower type of rallies weren't so great for uh, the entertainment side of it. So uh, I think for for a TV side, I think the shorter rallies and more explosive, more exciting type of rallies are, are better for our game and comes across better on TV. So uh, I'm quite enjoying it, uh, sort of been in both eras and uh, enjoying, enjoyed the past with the endurance side, but now enjoying the more explosive, powerful uh, attacking styles as well. Well, you know, uh, I fell in love uh, with this sport when I was like four years old. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this kind of question is very hard to answer. It's, uh, you can't uh, really explain. Uh, uh, this is a, a very uh, complete sport, uh, you know, uh, and uh, that's uh, the, the squash court is like a home for me. <laughs> you know, I was born in, in a court and uh, I hope uh, maybe I die in a court. <laughs>